Hello to everybody and welcome to this new webinar of Nirvana System. I'm Federica Itzi and today I'm going to explain to you how you can use the Nirvana System um, in the creation of personalized uh, therapeutic protocols. Um, before to go in this uh, um, more uh, practical uh, part, um, viewing in detail the uh, software uh, in section, uh, I'd like just to introduce you uh, what the system is and uh, uh, basically all the advantages of this kind of innovative product and then how it works. So, um, first of all, what is the Nirvana system? The Nirvana is a, a medical system based on the immersive virtual uh, techniques and uh, it's intended for the motor and cognitive neurorehabilitation. Of which kind of patients? Uh, basically, patients with neurological disorders, uh, for example, after stroke, uh, brain injuries, uh, brain tumors, uh, and various uh, head traumas, uh, or for example, uh, with uh, a neurodegenerative uh, disease, like for example, uh, the, the Parkinson or the multiple uh, sclerosis, and uh, uh, in particular with the children um, with the uh, developmental uh, disorders. So, so for example, uh, children with the autism. Uh, and uh, um, what is really important is that that the system can be used with the patients of any ages, so starting from children uh, up to adults and elderly uh, patients. And uh, uh, why you should use uh, the Nirvana system in your clinical practice? Because uh, um, thanks to the Nirvana system, the patients can enjoy an immersive experience and uh, become the active protagonist of uh, his treatment because uh, he can perform uh, the therapy with the Nirvana um, only thanks to, uh, through his movements. This means without using, without seeing an avatar in the uh, interactive scenarios. And then uh, what is really important is uh, it's a non-invasive system because uh, during this therapy, the patients will not wear uh, nothing. So we will not use uh, additional sensor like viewers, uh, um, gloves or other sensor uh, on the patient's body. And uh, in this way, we can speed up and enhance the quality of the, of the treatment we are performing and the patients can get aware of the, the quality and the results of uh, his movements. Uh, doing uh, an engaging and fun uh, exercises um, in the collaboration with uh, his, uh, his therapist. And uh, um, uh, let's see how the system works. So as you can see uh, from this uh, uh, photo, uh, the system uh, creates different scenarios that can be projected on the wall uh, or on the floor. Uh, you can choose this double configuration or just work with one of these uh, projection wall or floor. The patients can interact uh, um, with the, the projected uh, exercise only thanks to uh, his movements, okay? Because there is a motion sensor uh, that can detect all his movements in the calibrated uh, area. And uh, um, thanks to uh, this interaction, the patients uh, will receive a um, visual and audio feedback uh, and this will strongly motivate him giving this uh, multisensory uh, stimulation. And uh, all the whole body will be involved uh, in this uh, treatment because, uh, uh, as you can see, we will uh, project the uh, exercise in a big wall or uh, in a big su surface on the, wall, on the floor. So he will uh, work with all his body uh, doing exercises with the upper leaf 
but meanwhile it will work also with the lower limbs and the body, the trunk uh, control. And uh, uh, these are uh, some of the main features of the system. So, as I said, the core of the system is the exercises database, and uh, these that exercises uh, uh, are di divided in six categories and uh, um, were developed in collaboration with the clinical staff. So, this is uh, uh, really important. And we will see uh, after how we can personalize it. And uh, um, all the patients uh, will do uh, will be stored in the Nirvana software, uh, so in uh, your database. Uh, in this way, uh, in every moment, uh, you can uh, you can get the results uh, of the patient's uh, performance and uh, uh, obtain this uh, uh, ready to uh, to read um, report. And uh, this report can be printed and uh, added uh, at, um, together with all the other evaluation that you can perform on your patients. And uh, the Nirvana system is based on a, a web-based interface uh, that uh, is uh, um, accessible from uh, all the uh, common devices. This means uh, um, using a a smartphone or a tablet or uh, any um, computer and uh, the software can be used by different uh, users so you can have uh, uh, different uh, accounts and uh, uh, share it and uh, considering that it's a web-based interface it's uh, really uh, smart of course and can uh, um, very um, be um, understood very well so it, and uh, uh, of course the the, um, the the main point of this uh, uh, this, uh, re, um, this webinar uh, is uh, to understand how we can create uh, uh, personalized uh, protocols with the nirvana so we will focus on the um, on the, the exercise uh, section and in particular the therapies database so looking at the, um, the aviable exercises, we can see that uh, um, in the Nirvana, you will find these six different categories of exercises. So sprites, hunt, grasping, motion, follow me and games. Okay, what is, uh, uh, what is uh, uh, important is that uh, you can um, uh, you can exploit each exercise with a different target and uh, um, a different body segments involved. And all, in, all the exercises were developed in collaboration with the clinicians, so this means with a specific motor or cognitive um, rehabilitation aim. And each exercise can be projected on wall uh, or on floor, okay? And uh, um, so it's uh, up to you if you want to, uh, to see uh, the exercise, to use the exercise in a wall uh, section or on a floor section. Or um, uh, what uh, the other main point is that you, you get a visual and audio feedback uh, from each exercise. Uh, what we are going to see also during the practical part is that uh, the exercise can be uh, customized and adjusted according to the level of difficulty um, of your patients, so basically um, on the basis of uh, his residual capabilities, okay? And uh, you, you will see how in each exercise you have different parameters that you can uh, adjust. Uh, going on, uh, we see other uh, features of the system. So, uh, in particular, uh, as I said, everything uh, uh, that the patient uh, uh, does is stored in the Nirvana uh, uh, 
uh, database because there is a, a patient's database so you can insert your patients and everything you will do uh, is stored in his uh, patient's card uh, and um, then you have uh, the section of uh, um, of the therapies and the database of therapies and in this section we can uh, adjust uh, these uh, um, treatment uh, uh, protocols according with uh, my needs and uh, my patients and just to uh, to let you understand uh, understand this, uh, this concept, um, you can see from this slide uh, basically the concept that you had a new patient. So suppose you have added your patient John Doe. Then uh, these patients can have at least one therapy and more therapy um, during the time of treatment. What is this uh, therapy? The therapy will be the main folder where you will have um, all your uh, session of treatment with the Nirvana system. So uh, think about uh, uh, a big folder that where you will uh, you will have all your uh, um, session of exercises. You can define, you can add this therapy, for example, on the basis of the month of treatment, so as uh, I, I did, so January, February, and so on. Or, for example, in order to, um, to gather all the session of exercises belonging to a pre-treatment uh, therapy and a post-treatment therapy, where, for example, the therapy is a specific surgery or a drug treatment that the patient is following. Or, for example, if you want to, um, to divide, to split all the session of exercises uh, uh, with the aim of motor rehabilitation with the session with the, the cognitive rehabilitation aim, or on the basis of the, the body segments uh, um, involved, so upper limbs or lower limbs. So it's up to you how to create this therapy folder. But it's important that starting from the patients, your patients has at least one therapy folder associated, and in this therapy, you will add all the session of exercises. In fact, as you can see from this uh, uh, next slide, after um, the creation of the therapy folder, you can add inside this therapy folder a different uh, daily session. Okay, so the, what is the session? The session will be the list of um, exercises of interest. Okay, and uh, what is uh, also really important is that the session will have this important uh, um, label. So if uh, it will be a wall or a floor session. Okay, and so it's important to, to define these in, during the creation phase. As I said, so inside one session, you will find one or more exercises on the basis of how you uh, create this session of exercises. Uh, as I said at the beginning, the aim of this webinar is to uh, go in, in detail on the software use and explain to you how you can create uh, this uh, um, template of, uh, of personalized therapies and share then these uh, therapies with more patients because this will help you uh, a lot uh, in the clinical practice and uh, um, help you to, uh, to not lose a lot of time managing the system. Uh, so in particular we will uh, focus on the therapies uh, database and in particular on the definition of these custom uh, therapies. So let's um, start this practical session uh, going to uh, the, the Nirvana uh, software. Okay.
So, as you can see, this is uh, the Nirvana uh, interface. So, um, we have the patient's database, as I said, so you will have the list of, um, of uh, all your uh, patients you, are, you have inserted. Then you have the uh, therapies uh, database, where you can create and and uh, add these uh, uh, custom uh, therapies, we will see. The report section where you can uh, um, see the results of uh, all the performed the section of exercise on each patient in order to get the final result, uh, the final result in a, a PDF file that you can uh, save and export then the settings to calibrate the system and so on. So be focused on this therapies database section. So uh, I have clicked on ther therapies and now what I want to do is uh, to create a therapy, uh, a template therapy that then we can share with dif different patients. So what I have to do is to click on the plus icon and select new therapy. The name is mandatory. So suppose that I uh, want to, uh, to add as name, so therapy for upper limbs. Okay. Uh, because I, I, I like to have a therapy where I add all the, the session uh, that I want to perform in uh, a work configuration. Okay, and so basically for for the uh, for the upper limbs. But for example, I'd like to create two different sessions. One session of exercises, basically um, with a um, motor rehabilitation aim, and another session um, intended for um, the cognitive uh, recovery. So for this aim, I add a new session, okay? And uh, look, this part is really important because in this uh, moment you decide if this session of exercise uh, will be a wall session or a floor session. So if it's green, this means that it will be wall, otherwise uh, I, I will click on floor and I will get the green flag on floor. Okay, so I insert the name, uh, as I said, motor recovery session okay you can add a, a description as you want so as you see now i have the, the main folder therapy for upper limbs and inside this uh, therapy folder i have added this wall floor named motor recovery session in order to uh, fill this uh, session with the new exercise um, i have to click on exercises and I will um, see all the, uh, the exercises uh, inserted in the system. So you will have uh, up to 35 exercises and you, you can click on each exercise and understand uh, better what the exercise does because you see a, a short description and a tag list as a, a suggestion for you. And uh, in order to add this exercise in the uh, session model recovery, I have just to click on the plus icon. Okay, so with the aim of uh, motor recovery, for example, I'd like to add this sequence of exercises. So, for example, first of all, I'd like to add the guitar exercise. So, as you seen, I just clicked on the plus guitar. Then you can um, access in this uh, uh, screen where you can change the exercise parameters. As I said, you can personalize each exercise in order to define the level of difficulty on the basis of the residual um, capabilities of your patients. So this is important to, um, 
to do in this section, in this part of the uh, therapy creation, because you uh, you do um, these settings once, and then you <laughs> you will be uh, ready to start uh, the treatment uh, with the patients and not lose time do, uh, doing these uh, these changes. Um, so you can decide for each exercise uh, which is uh, the exit condition, so when the exercise will, uh, uh, will finish, so after three minutes of execution, for example, like in this case, or I can change the, the, the metrics and uh, choose uh, when uh, the patient uh, has reached a specific number of objects and so on. So you can decide the type and the value. Then you can choose the parameters. So for example, uh, which, which kind of length of these strings uh, uh, in this virtual guitar uh, would you like? So um, uh, one, two, three means uh, uh, um, uh, uh, longer or uh, uh, less. So I select the uh, the medium value, so uh, two, then you can decide the number of string and so on. So I close, then I have another exercise in my playlist. So for example, um, enhancing a bit the level of difficulty, uh, because uh, with the guitar we have only a selective uh, uh, reaching, uh, uh, basically in sequence, I had also an exercise in the hunt category. So uh, the attention level uh, will be uh, higher, okay, and also the motor, uh, the motor task involved. Also in this case, I can change, and for example, I'd like to have um, a reduced velocity of the balloons and a, a reduced number, okay? So I can add the, the, the last exercise for this session. So for example, uh, going in the grasping category, okay? Uh, and so with the, uh, um, an higher motor task involved, I just select the supermarket exercises, for example. And in this case, okay, I have seven number of objects to pick, and this is the exit condition, seven objects. It's okay for me, so I close. Okay, so it's up to you to change this default parameter, but my suggestion is to do this when you are uh, creating your own uh, custom therapy, because in this way you define your protocol, okay? And uh, then this parameter can be changed in every moment, also during the execution of the session, okay? So suppose that I have created this motor recovery session, and uh, I would like to do the same session with the a higher level of difficulty, so changing the parameters. In this case, my suggestion is to exploit the copy option and use this side, side, second uh, icon. In this way, an identical copy of this session will be added. Okay, so you will see that you have this motor recovery session copy uh, one. Of course, I change this, uh, uh, this name and I can name it motor recovery, for example, um, difficult uh, level. Okay, and of course I have to change uh, the, the parameters. So for example, I reduce the length, I enhance uh, the execution time, so uh, more time uh, to perform the exercise with the more strings, for example, okay? Or with the, the balloons exercise, for example, okay, always I'd like to perform more, so five minutes, and uh, the velocity, of course, more with the more uh, balloons. Okay, and uh, also for the supermarket, of course, so we can change and go to um, 
for example, 14 object. Okay, perfect. So at this, so it use this uh, copy option because uh, it's a, a very quick uh, way to start from uh, an already defined session in order to uh, to change it. So if uh, we want to create a new session in this uh, therapy, as I said, the cognitive uh, recovery session, I select uh, always new session and I add cognitive recovery session. It's a whole session. Okay, perfect. So I say in this uh, uh, cognitive session, for example, uh, I can add uh, different exercises uh, more with this uh, cognitive uh, rehabilitation aim. So, for example, uh, in the domain uh, of the uh, memory, you can use uh, this uh, exercise, okay, the memory. Um, also, this one, memory for kids, for example. Okay, let's see this one that is new. So I can delete, for example, this one, just selecting it and using the beam icon. Okay, of course, it, it will be not deleted from the exercise database. Okay, then uh, I can uh, play with the, the animals in order to discover um, the different uh, images of animals. Uh, with a motion category exercise and uh, uh, going to, to a, a next exercise uh, and a, a different category, so the follow me category, for example, I can use also uh, this uh, uh, escape the dog exercises. Okay, also in this case, if you want, we can change the parameters. So, for example, uh, from this, uh, uh, for this exercise, we can start with uh, um, a easier uh, level of difficulty, so with uh, less um, cards or with the dog, for example, we can enhance a bit uh, the velocity of the dog, otherwise the default value is a bit uh, uh, low. Uh, okay, when I, I have finished, you can click on the done uh, button. Okay, in this way, this editing uh, mode will be closed. If we go back to the therapies section, you can see that we have um, added this therapy for upper limbs in the custom therapies uh, made of this three uh, section. Okay, so this will be my protocols. I have already defined it with all the personalization. This means that when my patients uh, will arrive, so suppose uh, I have already added the, the patient's card from, for John Doe patients, uh, as I said, you mu uh, he must have at least one therapy associated. So in this case, you can see no therapy associated, I have to click on associate therapy, okay? When I click on associate therapy, I go back exactly on this section of the therapies database, but now I'm working on a specific patient. So everything I'm doing will be associated to uh, my patients in particular. And what I want to do, I want to add this um, wall therapy uh, for the upper limbs. So the therapy for upper limbs uh, we have uh, just created. To do this, I can directly click on the plus icon close to the name of this therapy. So if I click here, therapy for upper limb, you have seen how all this therapy is associated to my patients with all the session of exercises. But of course, it's up to me. Even if I have created this template of treatment in the, um, the, um, the patients in particular, I can do any changes I want. So for example, in the cognitive recovery section, suppose that I already know that the patient uh, doesn't like um, the, the memory exercise, I could select this exercise and delete it. So 
every day changes uh, can be done okay and um, when i uh, finished i click on done and i go back to to this uh, uh, patient's card and you can see that i have uh, the session ready to be started because i have this red icon and the sentence to do okay um, before to start this session, uh, in order to see a bit some exercises, uh, the other uh, option that I want to show is the following. So, suppose that uh, your patient already has added, uh, already has associated this uh, therapy for upper limbs. And I would like to add in this uh, therapy folder other session belonging to other uh, different therapy I have in the database. I can do this. So in particular, in this case, I will click on edit therapy because I want to edit this uh, therapy in particular. And look, you have in the custom therapies database, for example, this other um, therapy, the stroke uh, treatment therapy, and I can add also this session, upper limbs session stroke, in this therapy for upper limbs of my patients John Doe. Okay, because um, all the sessions you have created in all your custom therapies can be shared um, with your patients, associating the whole therapy or also one or more session uh, in uh, the therapy of interest. So in this case, I will click on upper limb session stroke because I'd like to do this session for my patients. And I want this session in the therapy for upper limbs uh, folder. Okay. I click on done and so you can see that now also this session of exercises is added in my um, patient's uh, therapy. Okay, so now uh, we are ready to start uh, one or more session just to see uh, some exercises. So for example, always be sure that uh, uh, the session of interest uh, uh, is uh, uh, selected, so uh, we'll have the blue uh, title, so I move on motor recovery section, for example, and uh, it will be uh, in blue color, and that this session is um, a to-do uh, session, or in case also uh, a yellow uh, um, to, to be completed uh, session because you can complete also uh, a started session, okay? So I selected this motor recovery session and I can click on start session. When I click on start session, you see that uh, I have this uh, uh, list of exercises in progress starting from the first exercise. Okay, you have the overview of the matrix. Uh, if you have the video recording enabled, you will have it. And you have the parameters, so you can modify also in real time this parameter. Because as I said, for example, we have defined these, uh, these parameters, but if I would like to change this length, um, I can modify also in real time, and in real time I uh, apply these uh, changes. So let's do these, uh, these exercises, and uh, I will explain a bit uh, how it works. So this exercise is a price exercise, so uh, the aim is to reach the object and uh, um, you can reset a sequence, specific sequence, or it's up to the therapist to define uh, which is this sequence. So, for example, in this case, I, I'd like to start from the left, going towards the right, okay? And when I, I'm doing this, I use the left um, upper limb, when I do on the contrary, I use and I work uh, on the motor recovery of the right arm. And 
this can be done. Okay? Or I can use the system starting from a specific position, for example, because I want to study also the capability, the motor capability of the patients who stand up and reaching the guitar's street. Stand up and reach the guitar's street. So it's up to you how to uh, explain uh, the exercise to the patients on the basis of your uh, rehabilitation needs. Okay? So basically, this is uh, reaching and uh, also start recognition and uh, understanding the uh, cause uh, and effect relationship. Going to the next exercise, uh, we uh, change a bit the level of difficulty because uh, in this uh, exercise of the hands category, uh, we, uh, we will work more on the um, Reaction, uh, reaction time of the patients because you see the object to reach uh, appear uh, always uh, from different positions. So every time the patient has to uh, control his body, uh, work also on his balance, and going to reach uh, each balloon. Okay? Or Otherwise, the, uh, the task can be different because, for example, I ask the patients only to touch um, balloons of a specific colors in order to see also uh, the inhibitory um, capability of the patients. Okay. So, of course, we can enhance the level of difficulty because if I change uh, the velocity, okay, and also the number of balloons on the screen, of course, uh, it's not the same because uh, the patients uh, have to uh, react uh, in a quicker way, okay? You can ask to do the exercise with a, a specific uh, so only right, only left, okay, or uh, also collaborate with the different patients. So if you have two patients, to work in collaboration uh, with the two patients. Then uh, um, we can see uh, in this next exercise uh, another category, so the grasping category. Here we work with a, a higher motor control uh, because, uh, of course, the patients must have the capability to understand the sequence of uh, uh, objects and ingredients uh, to, to buy in this uh, daily life uh, uh, scenario because we are in a supermarket and we have to once un understood what is the object uh, to drink, to simulate uh, like the, the grasping on uh, uh, the object and drink this object on the target position that is uh, the basket on the center. So you can um, respect the sequence or not, it's up to you. You can uh, uh, close uh, the end or not. Uh, for the system, it's the same, but of course, uh, it will be more uh, realistic if you ask the patient to reach, to grasp, and to bring it to the target position. Okay? So, a different motor task uh, involved. Okay? So, now I start also with the uh, the cognitive recovery session and uh, in order to see together other exercises and uh, um, focus more on the cognitive uh, rehabilitation. But of course, uh, um, uh, the exercises of Nirvana are always intended for uh, both the approaches. So motor and cognitive rehabilitation in the same time, because even if 
uh, I'm working with this uh, uh, memory exercise, I have to go on, um, on the card, so each the card in order to see uh, the images on the background and uh, memorize the, the position of this card in order to, um, to discover where, uh, where are the same the same card. Okay? And uh, so in this case, uh, of course, there is the, the rich in the task involved, but also the uh, basically the memory, mm -hmm. the memory task. You can change the level of difficulty, of course, because if I change the number of cards, of course, it will be easier or more. Uh, in this exercise, we have uh, a different uh, um, category because uh, this is a motion uh, category exercise. So, this is based on the quantity of the motion you perform, uh, and uh, um, the more uh, you will move, uh, or you will discover this, uh, this scenario. So, clean. Window and for example, in this case, you will understand uh, which are the animals images um, in the background. Okay, and you can decide also the percentage of the, of the image to be cleaned. You can do, of course, always the exercise with the left or right, and in this way, I uh, Work with the, um, the the wide wide movement and the the, the capability to associate uh, the, the object that I'm discovering the animals in this case that I'm discovering with that specific name. Okay, distinguish the colors. Then this exercise uh, belongs to uh, another category, uh, which is the, the follow me category. So here uh, the aim is uh, to, to, to bring the, the dog in a specific position. So um, in order to train the faster cognition of the patient and uh, orientation uh, capability, it's important if uh, uh, you ask uh, the patient to bring the, the, the dog to the, the food, for example, and he is able to understand that the food is here in the top left corner, and he goes to the top left corner, and he has the feedback of the, the dog, which is following, following him. Okay? So use this object on the corners in order to, uh, to guide uh, the patients in the orientation and the spatial cognition task. Now we can uh, exit from this session and I can show you uh, the, the last feature of the system, also uh, very important, which is the report section. Because uh, when I have finished one, uh, one session, uh, I have also the quick uh, um, uh, shortcut to have the report of this uh, section of exercises. I have just to select this exercise and view the data. So for this session um, belonging to this uh, therapy for my patients, I can see uh, which were the parameters I have uh, defined uh, at the beginning or, or during the treatment if uh, I did some changes, uh, which um, uh, were the, the final uh, metrics the patients uh, um, uh, obtained and uh, also with a uh, very easy to understand uh, graph uh, the, the rate uh, between the, the positive and the negative score. And of course, this uh, report can be exported in a PDF uh, file.
Okay, so um, the time for this uh, webinar is, uh, is over. Uh, uh, thank you very much to all of you for your time and see you on the next uh, webinar. Thank you.